We're in the life chances business. We want children to grow up and be good people. This is a kindergartner. I rode on the school bus with this kindergartner at the start of the school year. And when she grows up, she'll graduate from our schools in 2028. Think about that. 2028, we're preparing students for their future. And it's a very different one than what we know. It's not our future, it's theirs. And so in order to do that, we need to really think about how to do that strategically. And by working very strategically in the Pewaukee School District, we've been able to achieve wonderful results. This is our ACT score. We're the blue line. We always make our competition brown um, in our application. <laughs> so we stand out pretty in blue. But what you see is on the bottom would be our, our national ACT scores. The next would be our state, then our county, and then the districts we aspire to be like, still above us, but we're getting closer and closer to meeting them. We've raised our ACT scores over two years. But this is what really makes me proud. This is our data regarding our students attending a two or a four year college. When we started on our Baldrige journey in 2006, we graduated and sent on about 68% of our students to a two or a four year college. And as you see, we surpassed our, our county, our state, and now even our districts that we aspire to be like. And we now send 93% of our students on to a two or a four year college. We're very proud of that because it's a statistic that I think tells a story about life chances and what it means to open the door to each child's future. And along the way, we've won lots of accolades as a school district, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I really wanna to talk to you about is that how. How do you open doors for students? Our mission statement is your mission statement as well. How do we create those life chances for kids? When I was a leader at my early life, when I was a superintendent the first year in 2001, I thought leadership was all this. Will you fight? No. We will run. And we will lift. Shame on you. <laughs> this could be the greatest night of our lives. But you're going to let it be the worst. And I guarantee you, we won't go by in your life. You won't regret walking out letting them get the best of them. Well, I'm not going home. You've got too far! <laughs> and I'm going to stay right here and fight for this lost cause. The day may come when the courage of men fails, but it is not this day. The line must be drawn here. This far, not far. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. You're going to work harder than you've ever worked before. But that's fine. We'll just get tougher with it. Failure is not an option. That's what we have done. Believe me when I say we can break this army here. And we just want to get there. But I say to you, what every warrior has done since the beginning of time, you've got to get mad. I mean, plumb mad don't me. If you would be free men, then you will fight to fulfill that promise. Let us cut out their living guts one inch at a time. And they will know what we can do. <laughs> And no man forgets how menacing we are. We are lions. We're like a big bear, man. This is your time. Seize the day. Never surrender. Victory or death. Bitch, push it back. Who's with me? 